Cool, so welcome to the very first episode of the Dreamweaver Tech Layout Series. So in this video we are going to set up the initial settings in Photoshop, so we're going to create a site and within the site settings we will be creating the folder structure, so the images, style, the JavaScript sections as well. And we'll also go off to the jQuery.com website and download the latest jQuery ready to be used on the actual uh, website as well. So let's get on with it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is obviously open up Dreamweaver. Now I'm using Dreamweaver CS 5.5. Now this will work in uh, previous versions, so there's nothing to worry about there. So once we've got it open, like I said, we need to create a site so we can keep track of all of our files and and whatnot. So up here at the top where it says site, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go to manage sites. And here you'll have a list of sites if you've got any, or if you haven't, it'll be blank. Now I'm going to click on new here. And it's going to ask me for some information. So the information is going to be the site name. So I'm going to put the uh, following name, so tech byte layout. Uh, and it's now going to ask us where do we want to save all of the files and everything. So you can choose where you want to save yours, but I'm going to save mine um, on a separate partition. So I'm just going to create a folder in here and I'm going to call this Tech Byte uh, YouTube. So I know what it's for, like that. And then just enter on that and then click on Open. So that's now going to select this folder. So as you can see here, that's the location of where I've saved it. Uh, so now we've done that, we want to go to the advanced settings. Now they're not that advanced really, it's just a couple of the locations for like the images folder. So if you come up here to the default images uh, section and click on the icon here and it opens up in the folder we've just created and I'm going to create another folder. I'm just going to call this images and I'm going to open that and then I'm going to select that one. And that's all we have to do in here and I'm going to click on save. And now we can see we've got another le another option here. Now I'm going to click on done. And if you look in the bottom right hand corner now, down here, you will see that we have uh, a folder here. So if I hover over that, it shows you the location. That's what, what I've just created. And then underneath that, we've got an images folder, which again, I created at the same time. So I'm going to right click on the white space and I'm going to go to new folder, which you probably can't see. It's got off the screen. And I'm going to call this style. So this is where we're going to keep all of our styles. And I'm going to right click on the white space again and create another new folder. I'm going to call this JS for JavaScript because obviously we're going to be adding some of the jQuery um, sliding animations. And then in the root of this folder, the top level folder, I'm going to right click again and click on new file and just type in index. So that'll be index.html. Um, and then inside of the style folder, well, if you just click on the style folder, right click on it and go do new file. And then I'm going to delete everything, including the .html. And I'm going to type in main.css. So that's going to be the st main styles for all of the website. And press enter on that. Now, the next thing we need to actually go and grab will be the jQuery uh, JavaScript. So if you open up a web browser... And if we just type into a search jQuery, and the top result is jQuery.com. So I'm just going to select that. So it brings you to the jQuery.com website. So I'll go into more depth about this when I start my jQuery uh, series. But for now, all we need to do is go to this download button here. So I'm going to click it. And then it gives you all of this uh, code here. So what you want to do is just select it all with Control A and then control C to copy it. So we'll grab that and then we're going to come back over to Dreamweaver and inside we're going to click on the JS folder and we're going to right click on it and we're going to say new file and we're just going to call this jQuery.js like that. And I'm just going to open that up. And as you can see it's opened and it says JavaScript document at the top. I'm just going to Select that and just control V to paste all of that code in. So this is the jQuery JavaScript library, as it says here, jQuery JavaScript library version 1.6.2. So just do control S to save that. I'm just going to close that now. So now we've got all the all the files in place uh, ready to go. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the video here and in the next episode we will actually start to build the header uh, and slicing out the images in Photoshop. So as usual guys, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below. Feel free to subscribe and I will catch you in the next video.